I'll see you in court on May the 1st. Thank you, sir. The recent tragic death of rapper Julio Fulio has thrust one name into the spotlight, Young and Ace. Known for their heated rivalry and the public celebration of each other's gang-related losses, the two rappers have a continuous history that kept the streets buzzing and social media ablaze. Now with Julio Fulio's untimely demise, many are pointing fingers at Young and Ace, suspecting his involvement in the incident. Fans and onlookers are watching closely as the lines between music, rivalry, and real-life consequences continue to blur into the tragic saga. In this video, we'll talk about why everyone thinks Young and Ace has something to do with Julio's death. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like and comment on this video why you think rappers should be scared of Young and Ace. Is it because of the rap gang or his long criminal record? Also, if you would like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 15, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch the video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck. Youngin is a gang leader. In the world of rap, it is not uncommon for artists to have ties to gangs. But Youngin A stands out for a different reason. He's not just a member, he's a gang leader. Youngin, whose real name is Keontae Tyrone Bullard, is associated with the ATK, Ace's Top Killers Gang, a group that have been at the center of numerous violent conflicts in Jacksonville, Florida. The gang's activity ranged from drug trafficking and robbery to more severe crimes like murder. This violent lifestyle is a reoccurring theme in Ace's lyrics, where he provides a raw, unfiltered look into the life of a gang leader. Ace's leadership role and gang ties heavily influence his music. His tracks are filled with gritty tales of street warfare, loyalty, and betrayal. Songs like Step Hard and Ops aren't just music, they're narratives of his life, reflecting the constant tensions and dangers that come with being a gang leader. Sakashi so claimed Young and Ace ignored him, if there is one rapper who currently has a beef with every other rapper, it's 6ix9ine. He also recently called Young and Ace the most disrespectful rapper in the game right now. 6ix9ine also claimed that Young and Ace was actually backstage at his show and didn't make a move when they crossed paths. Takashi said it on live video stream, which quickly got screen recorded and spread all over Instagram. He said, street rappers were all at my show yesterday. If they wanted some static, I was there. He was at the show, he was backstage, he seen me and everything. This isn't the first time Young and Ace had been tangled up in beef with Takashi 6 9 The two have had a history of throwing shots at each other with Ace criticizing 6 9s antics and controversial past. So when 6 9 called Ace out on live stream, it reignited their ongoing feud. Not wanting to be dragged into 6 9 web, Young and Ace quickly fired back, accusing the controversial rapper of lying. Man, this nigga so cat, bruh, what the fuck? Youngin was arrested for firearm possession. In April 2024, Youngin Ace found himself in hot water once again. The rapper was arrested and accused of possession of a firearm, weapon, or ammunition by a convicted Florida felon. The arrest went down around midnight in Jacksonville Beach after the vehicle he was riding in got pulled over during a routine traffic stop. According to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, the SUV failed to stop at a four-way stop sign intersection. The driver was arrested and for driving with a suspended, cancel, or revoked license. But that was just the beginning of the night's trouble. During the search of the vehicle, officers discovered seven loaded firearms. The report stated that Ace had constructive possession of three of the firearms. This means that although they weren't physically on him, he had control over them. Infamous rivalry with late rapper Julio Fulio. Undoubtedly, Youngin's most famous rivalry is with another Jacksonville rapper named Julio Fulio. Just like Youngin, he is also lead of a gang called KTA, Kill Them All. The feud between Youngin Ace and Julio Fulio have been going on for years, exploding in May 2017 with the murder of Fulio's 19-year-old cousin, Zion Brown. This brutal act ignited a chain reaction of violence, escalating their feud into a relentless cycle of revenge. In June 2018, the animosity peaked when a retaliatory shooting targeted Young and Ace at his birthday celebration. Ace survived despite being shot eight times, but three others, including his brother, were killed. 
Fulio glorified the massacre on social media, even mocking the deaths with a t-shirt featuring Ace's fallen brother and friends. The violence escalated further. In February 2019, Fulio's younger brother, 16-year-old rapper Bibby, was gunned down at an apartment complex. That same year, Fulio and his girlfriend were injured in separate shootings, highlighting the vendetta's relentless nature. ATK game member and rapper Queso added fuel to the fire, displaying images of fallen KTA members on his album cover, and also boosting about Bibby's murder. His arrest for the crime intensified the fuel. The lyrical warfare peaked with Young and Aces, Who I Smoke, and Fulio's retaliatory When I See You remix, filmed in a graveyard underscoring their deadly feud. Alleged involvement in Julio's death. In June 2024, Julio Fulio was shot and the aftermath has everyone pointing fingers at Young and Ace. The two rappers had a notorious feud and now with Julio's death, Ace is under intense scrutiny. Adding fuel to the fire, the music Young and Ace has released since Fulio's death is doing little to clear his name. His lyrics are filled with boasts about Fulio's demise and the deaths of other gang members, making this situation even more volatile. Within a few hours of Fulio's passing, Young and Ace released Do It, a song that many listeners interpret as a brazen boast about orchestrating a hit. While Ace avoids explicitly naming Fulio's, the insinuations are clear and he seems fully aware of how his lyrics are perceived. This pattern of provocation continued with Ace's subsequent release, Game Over, on June 28th. The title alone suggests a morbid finality and the lyrics are even more explicit in their taunting nature in Game Over, Ace raps. Dead on the floor, dead on arrival, Mr. Six, I'm steady screaming out, fuck the long, fuck the six. This verse is widely believed to reference Fulio, who was part of Six Block, and the numbers mentioned throughout the song are too specific to be coincidental. This song begins with Ace declaring, Y'all know I smoke dead people, man. You know what I'm saying. And I smoke six, ha ha ha. Leave little doubts about his target. The most provocative lines detail the circumstance of Fulio's death. 5.56 increases the murder rate. Nobody on the way. Mask on. Get up close. This another close case. Don Julio shots to the face. By likening Fulio's death to taking shots of Don Julio tequila, Ace's words are seen as not only disrespectful, but also deeply insensitive. Authorities are reportedly investigating these lyrics as a part of their probe into Fulio's death considering them potential evidence of Ace's involvement. While Young and Ace maintains his innocence, the combination of the gang leader status, the violent history with Fulio, and his provocative music has cast a long shadow over him, making him a primary suspect in the eyes of many. With this, we have come to the very end of the video. Tell us in the comments below, do you think Young's latest song has any hidden messages? Let us know your thoughts on the whole video. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching. Until next time.